Good morning, dear students. I am Indu Shrivastava, Assistant Professor of Department of Computer Science and Engineering, SIRTS, Bhopal. Today, we will going to study about the continuation of our subject, and we will going to cover today the topic of the architecture business cycle. So, so let's we start. What is architecture business cycle? Right. So here you can see the architecture business cycle. Uh, before we study about the architecture business cycle, uh, first we discuss what is software architecture, right? So the software architecture of the of a program or computing system is the structure or structure of the system, which comprise software element the externally visible property of those element and the relationship among them right so this is a brief description of the software architecture so let's start what is software what is architecture business cycle right so architecture business cycle is also known as the abc so software architecture is a result of technical business and social uh, influence and its extension in turn affect the technical business and social environment that subsequently influence future architecture right so and uh, we can say that that we call this uh, cycle of influence from the environment to the architecture and uh, back to the environment and the architecture business cycle and you can see that the this business architecture cycle is very useful uh, for so many purpose and the organization goals of the business architecture cycle are baggage requirements which baggage and architecture which baggage and system the architecture follow the architect experience and the technical environment of the day the basically the there are three things required for the architecture business cycle so first one is case study case study of successful architecture created crafted to satisfy demanding requirements so as to help set the technical playing field of the day right so and uh, next one is method in method to success an architecture before any system is built from it so as to mitigate the risks associated with the launching unexpected unprecedented design and techniques for and next one is techniques techniques for incremental architecture based development so as to uncover design flaws before it too late to correct them right so these are the uh, three basic required um, we follow to create a software business cycle and where do architecture come from right so uh, here basically architecture come from basically architecture influence the these points first one is uh, architecture are influenced by the system uh, stockholder uh, that means uh, many uh, peoples and organizations are interested to construction of the uh, software and stockholders are the customer the end user the developer the project manager the maintenance and even those who market in the system right so a stockholder have a different concern that they wish to system to guarantee or optimize including things as desire as providing a certain behavior at a runtime performing well on particular pieces of hardware bring easy to customize achieving short time to market or low cost of development right so um, software uh, and system stockholder having this uh, perform this kind of thing and next one is software 
नेक्स्ट वन इज सॉफ्टवेयर इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द डेवलपिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट इन डेवलपिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एडिशन टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल गोल एक्सप्रेस थ्रू द रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड आर्किटेक्चर इज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द स्ट्रक्चर और नेचर ऑफ द डिवेलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन for example if the organization has a audience of ideal programs skilled in the client server communication then a client architecture might be a approach supported by the management and if uh, not any well be rejected staff skills are uh, one additional influence but so they are uh, the development schedule and the budget so there are the three classes of the influence that come from the development organization first one is um, immediate business long term business and organizational business right so uh, this is the second influence uh, architecture influenced and next one is the architect architecture are influenced by the background and experience of the architect right so if the architect for the system have a had a good result being using a particular architectural approach such as a distributed object or implicit innovations changes are uh, that they will try to some approach on a new uh, development efforts right and also you can see that the architectural choose uh, many uh, may also come from the architect educations and training exposure to successful architectural pattern or exposure to system that they have worked particularly right and uh, in a good manner and uh, also you can say that the architect may also wish to experience experiment with uh, an architectural pattern or technique learn from the book right so uh, architectural um, architecture are influenced by the uh, uh, background and experience of the architect right so and next one is the architectures are uh, influenced by the technical environment right so a uh, technical environment the uh, we can say that a special case of architect background and experience are influenced by the technical environment right so the environment that is current when the architect is uh, designed well influence that architect and um, it might be include standard industries uh, practices or software engineering techniques to prevent the architect professional community and uh, also it is a brave architect who in the today's environment does not at least considered a web based um, object oriented or middleware supported design for an information system right so uh, basically um, in here we uh, architect uh, architect come from um, in that uh, purpose and that side basically architecture uh, influenced uh, uh, in that section right so um, here you can see the architecture business uh, cycle here in this uh, diagram you can uh, with the help of this diagram you can understand what uh, is going on the organization goal of the uh, business architecture cycles are uh, uh, very uh, very uh, important and uh, this uh, uh, is completed in this uh, four phases right so here uh, already we discussed about the uh, um, this this uh, um, architect influenced uh, 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 influenced by the four uh, persons stockholder developmenting developing organization technical environment and architect experience right so when we uh, want to create yeah we want to develop uh, uh, a software then we think about it before we Uh, developing uh, any kind of software right we think about those thing so uh, here we uh, ramifications of the various influence on the architect the uh, property uh, right so uh, we discuss about this thing also here so uh, uh, you can say that the uh, the property required by the business and organizational goal are 
seldom completely understood and uh, customer requirements are often not co complete well uh, or well documented and architect must identify and uh, actively engage the stockholder to uh, solid um, solicit their uh, solicit their uh, needs and uh, expectation and their requirement their fulfill their requirement so architect must identify the um, stockholder uh, problems also and in addition of uh, technical skills architects needs to be skilled and uh, in discipline uh, and uh, diplomacy and, and uh, the communication right so uh, and also architecture affect the factors that influence them the architecture affect the structure of the developing organization and also architecture can affect the goal of the developing uh, organization and also you can say that the architecture can affect the customer requirement for the next system and um, will affect to architecture uh, for a future system so the architecture may affect the software engineering culture also right so uh, this is this this factor when uh, uh, this factor will affect architecture uh, art, right and uh, architecture activities uh, software architecture activities uh, perform the some activities when we create a software then this activity will perform creating a business uh, uh, case for a system and understanding the requirements right so uh, these are the activity uh, performed by the um, and the uh, next activity uh, performed by the software architecture creating or selecting the architect and communicating the uh, architecture and analyzing or evaluating the architecture implementing based implementing based on the architecture ensuring per, uh, confirmation to the architecture right so this activity will be uh, performed by the software architect and what makes a good architectural process right so here we discuss about the uh, uh, process good architectural process right so the architecture should be the product of the single architect or a small group of architect and also the architect should gather both of the functional requirements and well specified uh, uh, well specified uh, and a list of quality attributes and the architect should be well documented with uh, a latest one static view and one dynamic view and the architecture should be uh, reviewed by the systems stockholder right so this is the good uh, process and uh, in the continuation of that the architecture should be analyzed for uh, applicable quantitative uh, measurement and formally ev evaluated for uh, quality measures and uh, so here are some uh, these are the good architectural process and uh, what make a good uh, architectural structure right so this uh, the architecture should uh, uh, should architecture should uh, well defined module based on the principles of uh, information hiding and spreading of the concern and each module should have a well defined interface that uh, hides uh, uh, changeable uh, aspects and quality attributes should be uh, uh, achieved using well uh, known architectural uh, practice and the uh, architecture should be a uh, depending of particular versions of uh, commercial product or rules right so uh, this is the structure and uh, also in the continuation of good architectural structure here we discuss the module that product data should be a separate from the modules that consume data and for the parallel processing system the architect should feature the well defined process or tasks that do not necessarily mirror the module composition structure and every task or process should be specified so that it assignment to a particular process can easily changed right so this are the good architectural uh, structure right so uh, today uh, 
this topic uh, we have covered that the, today we covered architecture business cycle right so thank you for this